Before I start the salute, to anyone who hates this series, I respect your opinion. So anyways, on with the salute. Lupin the Third. Wow, this series is awesome. This series was created back in 1967 and started out as a manga series. Created by Kazuhiko Kato, or also known as Monkey Punch. The series was so popular that... Like, this manga series was so popular that... It even got adapted into a full anime. Known as Lupin the Third Part 1, or referred to as Green Jacket Series. So, like, this series, you know, is awesome. We got... Lupin here is funny. I wish I could wear clothes like him. And, I, and he's really tall as well, like I am. And Daisuke Jigen here is awesome. He has a really cool gun full of lots of awesome bullets. But my favorite one of all he has is, is the armor-piercing bullets he used in Castle of Cogliostro. Part 1 was pretty dark, actually. So, um... That's why we had Hayao Miyazaki and another director, which I don't remember his name. Yes, the Hayao Miyazaki uh, from Studio Ghibli. He worked on episodes of Part 1 and made them more kid-friendly or something. But then, and it only lasted for 23 episodes. Yes, it ended in 1972, so... um. Then later on came another series, which is... In 1977, came out, came out, Lupin the Third, Part Two, or also known as Red Jacket series. Part Two was more kid friendly, and therefore the uh, the adult content was toned down a bit. Overall, it was way better than the Part One. This is the best way to start the series. Since it doesn't go through it chronologically. Yeah, and also, um, part two, later on, had different reanimation designs from, like, you know, from Hayao Miyazaki. So, um, yeah, but it wasn't until in 1974, before, but before part two even came out, there was actually a 1974 Lupin movie. Just titled as Lupin the Third Strange Psychonetic Strategy. It was a live action Lupin the Third movie that was released back in 1974 and it. It wasn't very good. Yeah, so that movie came out before part two even came out. But however, Lupin did return back on the big screen with two movies in his anime form, which is the first one is. In 1978 came Lupin the Third, The Mystery of Mamo. A film about where some type of some type of guy who decides to send his little brain into space. And we also got the other one, which is by far the best Lupin the Third movie, but also the best anime movie of all time. That'd be Lupin the Third, The Castle of Cogliostro. Yes, it is the best anime film of all time. The film was animated by Studio Ghibli, which, you know, they... However, if you notice a difference in... Before I go back, you know, to Mystery of Mamo... In Mystery of Mamo, Lupin wears a red jacket for some reason. I guess that must be the beginning of Part 2 or the red jacket. I think this is like, you know, a different kind of jacket. However, in Castle of Cagliostro... Lupin proceeded to bring back by wearing the green jacket from part one. Yep. He ended up bringing it back again for some reason. And also, um, this is also John Lasseter's favorite film. This film inspired John Lasseter to work. The, you know, the, the chief creative officer at Disney and Pixar, well, was the chief creative officer of Pixar. He is also really great friends with Hayao Miyazaki as well. Yeah, and Howard, during um, 1990... In the 80s, later on... TMS is actually working on a little project called Lupin the Eighth. If you hear me right, Lupin the Eighth. Pre premiering in 1984... 
Loop on the Eighth is actually a project of, you know, which is actually a collaboration with TMS and Deke Studio. Which, you know, you may recall them as the... Like... Which, you know, you may recall them as the people who worked on the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, etc. Loop on the 8th was planned to be a kid-friendly spinoff of Loop on the 3rd, starring with all members of the original cast, which is Jigen Fujiko and Zenigata, and Goemon as well. Oh, forgot to mention about the other characters as well. So we got, um, we also got Goemon here, Ishikawa the 13th. He is really cool, guys. His sword can break through anything. And Fujiko, which is Lupin's lover, really cute as well. Even though she's not interested in Lupin. And we also got Inspector Koichi Zenigata. He's funny as well. Like, you know, he falls down on many stairs and something like that. And something like that. So, um, like I was saying, with Lupin the Eighth, um... However, for Loop on the 8th, production was halted. You see, they didn't have any problems with the word Lupon being used in Japan. However, that led to a problem with um, the name, you know, if it aired on in European televisions and North America as well. You know, with the estate of Maurice LeBlanc, which, you know, they have to pay a large sum of money. So that's why they halted production, which that's when Deke decided to work on a different cartoon known as Inspector Gadget. Yeah, if it wasn't for the production of, if it wasn't for the failed production of Loop on the 8th, then Inspector Gadget would have never existed. Go go gadget. Time slot. After in part 8 ended up getting canceled, in 1985 came out Loop on the 3rd part th 3 or also known as Pink Jacket series. Now, the characters itself are going through a much more, like, you know, different animation style. This is the original animation of Part 3 back in 1984, but this is the newer animation in Part 5 in 1985. So they decided to go for a much more Scooby-Doo looking style. Yeah, and, and that was the last time we have seen Lupin the Third. Though with Lupin getting other things like... Like, we have been getting a lot of other films, like The Fuma Conspiracy. Farewell to Nostradamus. And yeah, and other films or TV specials. We also have gotten a few OVAs as well. OVA, which stands for Original Video Animation, which is, which is you know, we got... Green versus red. You know, it's when we... Like, there, there's hundreds of Lupons in this film. That's what it's about. Part one versus part two. This is how the story for green versus red looks like. And that was the last time we have ever seen Lupon. The heart, it wasn't until in 2012 where Maurice... The name Lupon has now been nominated to the other to the entire world. This means that now we can use, show Lupin in European countries. However, it wasn't until 2012 called when, you know, Lupin had to come back with, you know, they came up with a 13-episode anime called The Woman Called Fujiko Mine. This was one of the first time, but also one of the first darker cartoon in the Lupin series. Containing so much explicit content that even Cartoon Arc's Tsunami couldn't even block it out. Couldn't even cut it out. Yeah, they couldn't even cut it out. However, every single Lupin TV... In, in 1989, every single Lupin the Third TV special came out. Yes, every year, except being the years 2014, 2015, and 2017. 
You see, um, during the time, uh, Lupin the Third also had another film series called Lupin the Third, which is called, which is spelled the Three I R D, which it released three films in 2014, 2017, and 2019. It just uses the same animation style from the woman called Fujiko Mine. Like the first one we got is Jigen Daisuke no Boyo. Or let me translate. We call it Rupon Sonsei Jigen Daisuke no Boyo. Or also known as Lupon the Third, Jigen's Gravestone. We also have a second film which is Rupon Sonsei Chiki Muri no Ishikawa Goemon. Also known as Lupin the Third, Goemon's Blood Spray. And we also have the third film, which is Lupin the Third, Fujiko's Lie. But wait, I forgot to mention back about the specials. Um, we also got Lupin the Third. You see, in 2009, there was a TV special where Lupin the Third had a had seen a full on crossover with another TMS property, actually. With Lupin the Third versus Detective Conan. And if you don't know a lot about Detective Conan, so um we'll just give you some quick history on it really quickly. We got Detective Conan. So Detective Conan is an anime series that began in nineteen ninety six. However, and if you thought, did it come to English countries? Well, it yes it did, but in a different name. Known outside Japan as As case closed outside Japan. You see, they couldn't use the word Conan because they'll get sued. You know, based on Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So the story involves about a 17-year-old Shinichi Kokuri. Who is at an amusement park with his childhood friend Ron Mori. Where he saw some men in black and he didn't notice that he got knocked out by one. And they forced him to drink a poison. Which the poison actually turned him to 7 years old. Shinichi Kudo was still alive, so he had to keep his real identity a secret, and when Ron asked him who he is, he quickly made up the name Conan Edogawa. And that's how the story went like. Yeah, since the crossover was really good, that they decided to make a full-on movie, releasing in 2013. Yep, so um, back to the topic, Lube on the Third. It wasn't until when 2015 came when... Well, forgot to mention you about the Jigen's Gravestone. Oh, yeah. So, in Jigen's Gravestone, Jigen was getting hunted down by a very dangerous assassin in some type of east part of Dorora. This assassin makes gravestones before he kills them. And in Goemon's Blood Spray, Goemon was hired by the Yakuza as a bodyguard. No, it wasn't until they found out they met a very dangerous criminal named Hawk. He's a very dangerous man. And Fujiko's lie is where um, Fujiko takes care of a kid strictly so that she can get his father's money. Yep, because the kid she's taking care of has a heart condition. So that's why they need to get him a heart transplant. Yeah, and Oh, yeah, I'm back on topic. In 2015, about, like, 30 years after Part 3, we got officially known as Lupin the Third, Part 4, The Italian Adventure. Lupin had always been a huge hit in Italy. That They thought, why not make one that takes place in Italy? Yeah, since the word Lupin was allowed in it, was allowed in Italy. Yeah, and there were scenes of, like, you know, Lupin getting married... Going undercover as a high school teacher, etc. Yep, and you see, um, part four came out, but part four was referred to as Blue Jacket series, since yep, they used the blue jacket in this series. Though it's a strange part that part four first came out in Italy in 2015, then it came to Japan in 2015 until it ended in 2016, and it wasn't until summer of 2017 when it came out on Toonami. The Adult Swim anime block every Saturday. Yeah, it wasn't until we had to wait three years later with, you know, 
with the recent one being Loop on the Third, Part 5, Misadventures in France, <laughs> or also known as Blue Jacket Series Part 2, since Loop on brought back the Blue Jacket. This series itself takes place in Lupin's hometown, France. His, his grandfather, Arsène Lupin. Yeah, you see, Part 4 wasn't actually following this Part 3 chronologically. It was going through iteration, the modern iteration, where we, you know, we bring back cell phones. Part 5 had to go through, like, some type of digital website and as well as social media. You see, on the team, we had Teenage Hacker... Ami Ennen, who joined Lopon, you know, to help hack the, you know, the website and as well as that. This series first aired in 2018 in Japan until September 18th, which my birthday on September of 2018. Then the series itself came to the U.S. in 2019 on Tsunami. And that was the time we saw Lupin. It, but it wasn't until 2019 when we received a 3D animated Lupin movie called Lupin the Third, the First. Which came out in December 6, 2019 in Japanese theaters until it came to the U.S. in October 18, 2020. Yep, so um, it was strange though that, you know, like, Jigen himself... uh. Kind of looks like Keanu Reeves. Yeah, he actually does. Though they brought back the same color jacket from Mystery of Mama, except with a tie and all that kind of stuff. Red. So this film takes place in... Well, I have seen the movie, so... if you, In the 1960s, and that's it, where, you know, he helps a young woman named Leticia to stop her neo-Nazi grandfather. Yeah, but however, it wasn't until when October, well, it wasn't until recently when TMS, the company that, the production company of Loop on the Third, they announced that they'll be releasing Loop on the Third Part 6. It comes out first in October of 2021 in Japan, and then it might come to the US in 2022 or 2023, I don't know. It doesn't follow Part 5 chronologically, actually. Yeah, so it's supposedly coming out on October 21st. Yeah, since that's when part one came out, since it's to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Loop on the Third. Now, for the animation of all these kinds of shows, the animations are awesome. The characters are really cool. And it influences a lot of children how to be really cool with this series. I hope this series never ends. Do you know who likes this series? Just an anime gamer dude, one sunny sand. Um, he worked on something. Well, I did actually do a TikTok video about Loop on the Third Chug Jug with you. Yep. So, and he said I love Loop on and that he should watch the movie. Yep, and I agree with him. I don't know anyone who hates this series. So, I'll leave it be. Loop on the third is awesome. And so is Paw Patrol. Caillou sucks. But Case Closed or Detective Conan is also awesome as well. End of salute.